Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the iCarSoft CR Pro Kit. Uh, we're going to be using it on this Porsche Cayenne. It's a 2013 Porsche Cayenne, which is a little bit poorly at the moment. Now, the CR Pro Kit is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com, and I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So, as you can see, we have a few warning lights on screen here. We've got the um, ABS, the traction, and a few parking control warning lights. And we've got the CR Pro Kit hooked up to the diagnostic port. So really this video is just about sort of going you through, talking through how to diagnose an ABS fault or PSM fault in a Porsche. So we're going to click on to diagnostics here. And we're going to go through the, through the notion of selecting our specific manufacturer first of all, which is Porsche. And then we'll select our specific vehicle, which is Cayenne 92A 2011 onwards. And we're going to select manual scan. So we'll go down to Porsche PSM, Porsche Stability Management, which is another which is their term for ABS really. And then we'll click into read fault code. And we've got two faults here, so we've got 011B88 front left RPM sensor signal implausible and then we've got 011B0C front left speed sensor electrical fault so the speed sensor and the RPM sensor are basically the same thing and it is an ABS sensor so it looks like the faulty is a faulty ABS sensor on this particular vehicle uh, which we can then what we're going to do is we're going to change it over once we've changed it over it's a case of coming back into the vehicle clicking on clear fault memory and that will get rid of the fault codes on here and the warning lights on the dashboard there um, so that's all thanks to the CR Pro it gives us an idea of what we need to do going forward um, obviously without this we would have no idea which ABS sensor is faulty we have you know the car has a um, four ABS sensors one on each wheel um, but to really home down on which sensor is faulty, and this goes for anything as well, it goes for any part of the airbag system, any part of the engine system, to really sort of home down on the specific area of fault, you really need a tool like this to actually um, give you the answer. But as I say, this tool is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com and I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. Hope you've enjoyed this CarTech video, thanks for watching and I hope it helps.